Welcome into NBA Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Senior. Appreciate all of you for making today's show a part of your day. As for what, are, what we're getting into and talking about on today's program, Victor Wembenyama out of France. He's being called the best NBA draft prospect since LeBron James, a hybrid between Kevin Durant and Rudy Gobert. We'll take a look at my scouting profile for him, how he matched up against Chet Holmgren in the under-19 FIBA World Championships back in 2021 when he thoroughly out played who was the number two pick in the 2022 NBA draft. Then we'll round this out with some potential draft destinations for Wen Binyama at the end of the show. So let's take a closer look at one of the most polarizing prospects that really we have seen in the recent history of the NBA draft. Wen Binyama playing overseas right now, 18 years old. He's from France. His size, tantalizing. He stands at 7'3", has a ridiculous 7'9 wingspan, and a standing reach of 9'7". What does that mean? He can basically dunk the basketball without jumping. He's a couple of inches away from succeeding in that area, likely to be the number one pick in the 2023 NBA draft, and he is so insanely skilled given that size. Fluid, Movement with perimeter skill. He's a great shot blocker, which is why there are some of those Rudy Gobert comparisons, but he can put the ball on the floor. He has that high release point, and because of his handle and his overall skill, that's why he gets some of those Kevin Durant comps. He has wing skills, which is, again, why people are tying him to KD, and he has the size to fill out and get bigger. Right now, some concerns, a little bit injury prone. He got banged up this past year, but has that size to fill out, unlike Chet Holmgren, who was getting bodied in the NBA Summer League by the beefy and girthy Kenny Lofton. Are you buying in to the Wembenyama hype train? Let me know in the comment section right now with this video. I imagine people are tuned in from all across the globe. A for all in, S for a little bit sketched out. If anything, you got to buy into the name because it's really fun to say Wembenyama. As for his numbers last year, LNB Pro A stats, 9.5 points per game, 5 rebounds, little less than 2 blocks per game, 47% shooter, and 26% from 3. Only 16 games played. Now, the last couple of games, he really just started to turn it on, and obviously, like I said at the start of the show, some injury concerns with Victor Wembenyama, but keep in mind, this guy is growing so quickly, has a really thin frame, and he's trying to preserve himself for having a long professional career. Hopefully, it starts with the 2023 NBA draft. This guy has stupid potential. Jonathan Gavoni is with me on that. Here's his scouting profile on Victor. I've long considered the 18-year-old French big man the best prospect I've personally ever evaluated, and keep in mind, he's evaluated some of the best NBA players we've ever seen. With his handle and footwork on display, he has been looking like a bigger Kevin Durant at times by splashing self-created step-back threes. He's starting to add a more advanced mid-post package, fading into back shoulder turnarounds with incredible ease. He's getting to lobs no other players on the planet could even think of, and on top of that, he's protecting the rim at an elite level. Well ahead of Rudy Gobert, a fellow Frenchman, by the way, at the same stage, while also showing the ability to step out and switch onto guards unlike any player we have previously seen at his height. When Binyama is the only player in EuroLeague history to record a block percentage over 12%. My take on him? He looks like Rudy Gobert in terms of his frame. Obviously, he doesn't have the muscle of Rudy Gobert because Gobert has been able to add to that frame over time. But he has ball handling skills as well as shooting skills. And you go through the scouting profile from Jonathan Gavoni at his size with that release point and that wingspan. Nobody in the NBA is going to be able to block his shot, especially if he's hitting turnaround Jays, the one-legged Dirk Nowitzki fadeaways, as well as that step back three. That's why this guy is sought after. This, that's why this guy is very, very hyped up. So if you had to pick one, between Chet Holmgren as well as Victor Wembenyama, who would you pick to start your franchise? Chet already in the league, playing pretty good basketball in the NBA Summer League, type CH. VW for Victor Wembenyama. Why am I comparing these two players? Because 
they are somewhat similar. And going back to the U19 championship back in 2021, it was Wembenyama who thoroughly outplayed Chet Holmgren. We'll take a look at those numbers in just a few moments. But first, we have people tuned into the show all across the world, every pocket of America and worldwide. And this deal applies for you. You want an NBA hat supporting your squad? You can get it right now. Some really good deals and these awesome designs to my right. Chatsports.com slash NBA hats. That'll take you to the promised land so that this deal applies for you. There are hats available for every single team in the NBA. We're just flashing a couple. Chatsports.com slash NBA hats. I'll put that link in the comment section as well as the description of this video. Get hooked up today. Get swagged up and swagged out with these NBA hats. Now you look at the frame for Victor Wembenyama. And keep in mind that Chet Holmgren is 7'1", and Wembenyama is a lot taller than him. And he's also standing next to Jay Nivey right here. They competed in the, Euro, uh, in the FIBA World Championships, in which the U.S. back in 2021 was able to edge France uh, by a score of margin of only two. So it was a really good game at the time. And you look at how these two players stacked up going up against one another. So Victor Wembenyama absolutely outplayed Chet Holmgren, and as evidenced by the numbers right here. Now, Wembenyama was in foul trouble in that game, in that two-point loss, and the U.S. ended up winning. It's actually pretty crazy how the U.S. and France continued to really trade punches as the two worldwide powers, obviously the edge with the Americans, but Chet Holmgren in that championship game, 10 points, two rebounds, zero blocks, three of eight from the field, three of four from the free throw line. As for Wembenyama, younger, more inexperienced, still outplayed Chet Holmgren. 22 points, eight rebounds, get this, eight blocks in that game as the rip protection was certainly elite. Seven of 14 from the field and a perfect nine of nine from the free throw line. This past year at the Euro League, Wembenyama, which is a really good sign with his three-point numbers and him not being a liability at the end of games, he was shooting more than 70% from the free throw line. And by the way, his number is kind of down in the Euro League. One, it's a competitive league. Two, he's really young. Three injuries, but also he wasn't really playing that much. I believe less than 20 minutes per game as well. As for the Victor sweepstakes, these teams could be in the running for Wembenyama in the 2023 NBA draft if he elects to declare for the draft. He signed a new two-year deal with the team overseas, by the way. Houston Rockets, Oklahoma City Thunder, San Antonio Spurs, I think, are tanking for Greg Popovich to maybe get another Euro sensation. Utah Jazz have to be in the mix because right now they're rebuilding. If they trade away Donovan Mitchell, it's going to be a really bad team. Charlotte Hornets, I can't imagine they're all that good this upcoming year. Detroit Pistons, Orlando Magic, and Indiana Pacers rounding out the Victor Wembenyama sweepstakes about a year away from the NBA draft. A lot can transpire, but Wembenyama... Man, he's atop the draft board for the 2023 NBA draft class for all the reasons and more that we talked about, and he is going to be one of the most hyped up NBA draft prospects of all time, and he's being called the best draft prospect going back to LeBron James when he was selected in 2003. That's how notable of a prospect he is. Go back to school before we hop on out of here on today's show. Grade Wembenyama as a prospect from 1 to 100. One He's the worst prospect of all time, Anthony Bennett level. 100, one of the best. Let me know in the comment section. And if you're new to us here at Chat Sports, thank you so much for watching today's show. This is what we do. Bring you the best NBA content, draft analysis, NFL, college football. We certainly do it all. So if you subscribe, we will not disappoint you. YouTube.com slash Chat Sports TV.